Okay, it's time to do our other tests. We're going to test nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in these other ones. So we'll take a look at these results of the pH in a little bit. But now that we've let our liquid settle, it's time to test the water above the soil. And as I move this one, it started mixing up. So you have to be really careful not to mix up the soil again. So what I really want here is the lightest color. Now this is sample C. This sample has a lot of clay, which doesn't like to sink. It's the lightest particle. And so I'm gonna get this very top layer that's very light in here. I'm gonna get it very carefully with a pipette. So I think I'll start with sample C here. So what I do is I have my nitrogen test, my potassium, sorry, phosphorus is P and potassium is K. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the very lightest color here without any chunks of soil. And what we're measuring is the ions that have come out of the soil into the water. And I fill up my chamber with our soil sample water. And I'm going to go ahead and put the purple capsules. So I have purple capsules and I have different colors for the different reagents. So the purples go in this purple one here and it's the powder inside. Careful not to spill. If you spill a little bit, it's not a big deal on here. And I'm going to get a purple lid and I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. So I'll do some shaking in a little bit, but let me go ahead and make all three from soil sample C. Again, I want really light water. The longer you can let this settle, the better. And so this is my blue for phosphorus. Sometimes it's hard and I have to use my nail to kind of get off the top of the capsule. And carefully put in the powder, the powder are the reagents that cause a chemical reaction and it's changed color based on how much phosphorus is in the soil sample. And we'll shake that one up. So I'll shake up all three once I get all three made. And so now we have the orange tester here and it's sometimes, this one's a little bit hard sometimes when the water is a little bit brown to see the color change, but it's actually, it does turn pretty orange when there is phosphorus in the sample. So it does work. Um, if there isn't much phosphorus, you aren't gonna see it turn a darker color of orange or brown. All right, so I've got all three and I can go ahead and shake for a few minutes and then the colors do not develop until about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all three samples here and then we'll wait for a color change.